your prototype of a um, HHO generator torch. And uh, it's a computer case, and I love these computer cases because they are so cheap and easy to modify. Um, I built this handle for it, and um, this cradle here that holds all my stuff. All my switches and knobs are in here protected instead of out here where they can get bumped and broke. And also um, the, the cord and the hose has a place to be put away when it needs to be transported. Um, you can see my reservoir size is really small and it's, um, it works great. And the thing holds a liter and a half of water when it's full. The whole thing all together weighs 39 pounds. So I can easily lift it from the floor up to here with one arm. I'm very durable. Nothing's going to slide around and fall out of there. And uh, basically it, um, this system runs on 60 volts. And um, I can double it up and make it run on the full 120. So basically I have a transformer in here that's uh, getting me down to the 60 volts. And the transformer I built out of microwave parts and it took a couple microwaves to build that no big deal and of course my pressure switch to shut it off and uh, the heat sink and rectifier right here and I got a fan out of the microwave as well so it's a pretty simple unit um, uh, you can build one yourself fairly simple um, basically, you just need a computer case and some uh, aluminum or some type of metal to, to build uh, this cradle. <coughs> and um, some uh, cells of your choice. I mean, you can do plates or whatever you want, you know, however you want to design it. But I do like the computer case works really good. Um, we're going to go ahead and fire it up. This thing puts out uh, four to six liters a minute. I have two settings. It's the low and a high. And on the low setting, we get four liters a minute constantly. Um, they can constantly put that out for unlimited amount of time without overheating. The six liter a minute setting, I can run for about 15 minutes without any overheating. And as of now, I have no sensors to switch it off so it's up to me to make sure that the thing doesn't overheat. But we're going to plug this in, show you how easy it is to use. It's just a plug in the wall, got your torch, and uh, we'll just switch that on. We're on low, so we're at about four liters a minute. You can see a little flame there. I don't know how well the camera picks that up, but it's a pretty good flame. We're going to go ahead and do our old concrete engraving here. 